Hello everybody and it's me your boy JC Reviews and yes today we are back at it again with another review and this time we will be reviewing a brand new figure that I've got recently in my new toy hunt which is the Amber Collection Pteranodon so why don't we begin the review shall we? So as always, why don't we begin with packaging wise on this figure. As we could see, we have Amber Collection logo right there. And the Amber Collection logo right there as well. Trend on Jurassic Park 3, Mattel logo. Beautiful display of the figure as usual for these Amber Collections. Trend on Jurassic Park 3. And another Jurassic Park 3 logo that I found interesting right here. And a nice little touch of, touch of detail as well. And right here we only have Amber Collection at this side. And bottom of the packaging as we could see. We have nonsense information and there's the barcode. For any of you guys having trouble finding this Amber Collection. And we also have Amber Collection and Trend on Dress Park 3. Another Amber Collection logo. And as you could see we have a beautiful picture from Dress Park 3. And also an interesting fact is here as well so why not we read it stumbling into the bird cage presents new and unforeseen dangers for dr alan grant after he unwillingly lands on isla sorna seeming to emerge from out of nowhere the trandon proves to be a perilous predator both in and out of flight which is really cool in my opinion also a plus right there <laughs> and yeah i honestly really like these interesting facts and Little things that Mattel does with these Amber Collection figures. And yeah, so that's out of the way of packaging wise on this figure. So why don't we finally crack this figure out of the packaging. So I'll see you guys when I unbox this boy. Also, quick thing to mention. Since this was shipped by Target, it was kind of damaged of the packaging, sadly. Nothing too special, but anyways. I'm going to crack this thing out of the packaging already. So I'll open this thing. So I shall open it carefully. There we go. So we the packaging. Wow, very nice. And also, we see the clear thing right here. The clear stand, which I really like instead of it being the yellow one. And yeah, so why don't we get this bad boy out of the packaging? The stand, please. Real quick, which it should be out now. Oh god, come on. It has two, I didn't see that. Or I thought it would just be like one whole thing. Anyways. Alright, there we go. Now it's out. And there we go, we have the nice clear stand. Which, honestly, it's a very good choice. In my opinion. Clear stand instead of the P stands. Very better. Very much better. Oh, here is the triangle. As you can see. It's right there. All right, we got better lighting now. And as you can see, snipping it out. But you gotta be careful right here in the feet. Great, I'm doing this with one hand, guys. Bear with me. Oh, wow, this thing's massive. Holy cow. All right, guys, let me just turn off the camera real quick. Then I could get this figure out very nicely. Alright everybody, so now I finally unboxed the Tyrandon and here it is in all its glory. As we could see, wow, this thing's really amazing in my opinion. Here's the stand as well, which we'll be taking in a closer look, but let me just put it in. Which actually, give me a sec, I can't put it in. Alright, so anyways, here we go. Here's the stand in all its glory, as you could see. And many people have been telling me that this stand is very different. And I have a very different variant. And so, that's cool in my opinion. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to place it in in the stand. Place it. Which I am so bad at this. Doing this on camera. But I guess so. Uh, like bro. <laughs> I guess I could just do this like this, but yeah, so basically you could just put... Alright, so I'll just place it here again. And, um, yeah, I guess, yeah, uh, yeah, there we go. At least it's staying up there. 
And yeah, so there we go. Here's the train on its stand, which I can't even get the whole thing in frame. So why don't we get the wingspan on frame, as we could see. And um, yeah, so here we go. Here's the whole wingspan, as you could see. And yeah, so anyways, why don't we take a close look on this pteranodon. Before we move on to the figures, I really quickly want to go with the stand since during my live stream, everyone was going crazy about the stand. That this one was very different. So here it is. Uh, you could see it has, you could move it up and down. You could move it side to side a little bit. And yeah, so anyways, so many people were telling me that this was different, really different. And there's one that had the raptor, like the raptor version. And just the figure had a hole. And yeah, so that's basically it with the stand. And I just wanted to show it just for the people uh, knowing that I had a different version of the figure. Anyways, let's move on to the figure itself. So here is the figure out of the packaging and everything. So why don't we get it out, take a closer look on it. So here we are. Here is the Tyrandon. As we could see. There we go. Let me just. So yeah, here we go. Detailing wise on this figure as you can see on the head very nice detailing on this amber collection trend on Absolutely love the detailing and in the mouth as we could see has some teeth As we could see I'm not sure Jurassic Park 3 trend on's had teeth on them or anything But yeah, there's the mouth and as you could see the wings here And the neck as you could see has some nice detailing as well some decent detailing my opinion but the head is amazing in my opinion but here it is some detailing on this on the wings as you can see very nice and the wings are nice soft rubber or plastic I don't even know but I, I'm just gonna say rubber at least and yeah here's the bottom of it and the hands have very nice detailing as you can see very nice detailing in my opinion look at those hands Look at those hands right there, as you could see. And are also articulated. So anyways, there we go. Here's the bottom of the figure itself, as we could see. Same thing with the hands and lower body. Nice detailing. Here are the legs. Detailing on the legs and feet, as you could see. Very nice detailing on the feet. Very bird-like feet, in my opinion, as a pteranodon. And yeah. Anyways, why don't I go on with paint scheme wise on this figure? So anyways, why don't we begin with paint scheme wise on this figure as we could see the head has this nice yellowish reddish and orange colorings and some brown right here at the beak and I absolutely love this because it's so Jurassic Park 3 obviously since this is from Jurassic Park 3 and as we could see very awesome really love it and here's the mouth reddish pinkish mouth and some whitish yellowish teeth nice yellow eye right there with a black pupil and yeah the head's amazing with the paint scheme on it moving on as you can see the hands are nicely some nice yellowish brownish some yellow on the top and the wings are some nice brownish and yellowish type of coloring right there also right here some orangish coloring right there and yellowish as well and at the bottom of the belly as we could see some nice tannish coloring right here as well and some more yellowish and browning brown colors right there as well so yeah anyways that's it of paint scheme wise why don't i move on to articulation moving on to articulation wise on this figure as we could see the jaw is, very, is able to open and very wide open jaw the head could go for a full 360 rotation the head on the neck i guess <laughs> on the head joint it moves up and down as you could see as well as the neck right there on the joint head goes way more down <laughs> and also it could go for a and also if you move it you could also move it to side to side Making it look like going to side to side. And you could also make it. And also the wings are able to flap up and down as you can see. Very nicely as in a flying position. And the hands here as we could see. 
are able to be moved and go in a full 360 and go up and down as well. Very nice articulation on the hands as well. Same goes with this one, which you're not going to go too much with these hands. But yeah, as you can see, very nice, honestly, in my opinion. Also, as you can see, um, right here in the midsection, it could go up and down as well, or you can move it. As well as um, the hand, the legs, <laughs> the can speak, the legs as you could see, can move as well. You can move them up and down, side to side, full three sixty rotation. Very difficult to move the legs on the Tyrandon Amber Collection figure, because I honestly don't know which way to put them. But anyways, that's it. And the main thing about this figure is the bendable wings, which are very awesome in my opinion. Absolutely love the Zamber Collection so much for that. And you could almost do the crouching pose, which everyone has been wanting. And every single Tyrannon figure everyone has ever wanted. Ever wanted. And yeah, there you go, you know. Not really crouching but kind of crouching as you could see which is really awesome in my opinion and yeah so anyways why don't we move on to some quick comparisons with this figure anyways here we go first comparison Here's as comparison. you could see is a human amber yes. collection next to dr, dr. ian malcolm and, malcolm and as you could very see tall. height of this figure is yeah. very so tall taller than ian malcolm wingspan it's as tall as frame, three ian malcolms i guess or two and a half probably i don't know you guys could do your own calculations on this figure but as you can see there it is i'd say probably two or three that's probably it anyways let's move on moving on with another amber collection figure as you can see the tyrand next to the velociraptor amber collection figure as we could see, way more so huge. bigger and longer, as you could see. And That's yeah, huge. very impressive and very large. I was very impressed how big this Amber Collection Tyrandon was. So, anyway, so when I move on to my final thoughts of the Amber Collection Tyrandon. So overall, and my opinion of this Amber Collection Tyrandon might be actually one of the best Amber Collection figures by far one of my favorites in the line so far and who knows what the future holds for these amber collection figures but honestly this one might be my number one favorite at the moment right now absolutely love everything the tarandon overall and the Jurassic park 3 paint scheme love it and also um the bendable wings which is so awesome in my opinion that everyone has ever wanted to have on a Tyrandon figure. Way more better than the Jurassic World line Tyrandons, obviously. But yeah, for this Amber Collection, very worth it, honestly. But honestly, I'm very happy that I was able to get this Tyrandon on sale when it was $15, which I'm so happy that I was able to get it. And yeah. Anyway, so that's going to do it for this vi review for today, guys. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. And remember to comment down below what you think of this figure. And comment down if you're also going to pick this figure up next time. And yeah. So anyways guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing absolutely helps the channel a lot. And follow me, follow me on my social medias. Links are in the description to Twitter and Instagram. For some awesome content as well over there. And yeah. Anyways guys, hopefully you all the review hopefully you all enjoyed the review and I will see you all in the next one. Adios and goodbye. I will see you all in the next video. Adios and goodbye.